Okay, Mike here again. I uh, did know battle report. We're playing uh, Crusaders, uh, five point or five objectives, uh, two thousand points. It's going to be Eldar versus Tau. I uh, brought a Forge World Ravana. It actually did pretty good. So if you can go ahead and watch it, um, and we'll go from there. Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be playing John, and we're playing 2,000 points. It's going to be Tau versus Eldar. Uh, let's walk over here and see what he's bringing. What are you bringing? Wave Serpents, carrying Dire Avengers. Striking Scorpions, led by Carandris. Wraith Guard with D sides, a Farseer on a jet bike with lots of war gear, and his Warlock Council buddies, and a unit of Warp Spiders, Exarch with a Spinner Up Rifle, and that's it. That's it. Uh oh. No, Tough stuff. Not enough, I don't think. Not enough. It's not enough. Okay, and I am bringing uh, two Riptides Ion Accelerators. Uh, the Melta on top, a uh, squad of broadsides, a squad of three with two uh, Meltas each, a squad of one with a Melta, a commander that has the bells and whistles. Uh, these six drones are missile drones going here. One Ravana, who's kind of leaning forward. 15 crew with a hound, three squads of 10 fire warriors, and another squad of crew with a hound. Okay, uh, we are playing Crusaders, and we actually rolled for five objectives. I placed one objective here. Um, he countered and placed one there. I placed my second one here. He placed his there. And the fifth one is back over here hiding. So um, I won the deployment as well. Went ahead and deployed him, uh, my main squad here, Ravana, Fire Warrior, Fire Warrior, Cadre, Riptide, Riptide, some Fire Warriors up there. And he counter deployed in this corner. Nice and pretty. Back here, and you guys, you have some guys over there too. Way over there, yeah. Way over here. So should I kill this squad first? And then these guys way over here. So did not give me much to shoot at. Overall, we have a lot of terrain on the thing. So uh, we will start with my first our problem. Okay, so I went ahead and went first. Ravana. Uh, commander jumped down, joined the Ravana because these guys couldn't shoot at anything, they just moved up. Ravana killed two of those guys over there. What are those? Wraith Guards. Wraith Guards. Uh, this Riptide shot through the building and did nothing. He did his cover save because of uh, the thing. And uh, this Riptide shot straight at there. And he did his cover saves on those as well. So, moving on to John's turn. Ready for some death. All right, end of John's turn one. What happened? Warp Spiders decided that they wanted to move from all the way over here to all the way over here and take a lot of shots at the Riptide. Wave Serpent shot at the Wave Riptide. Jet Bikes moved up, but they didn't shoot, but they cast a lot of... Spooky powers. Uh, these guys are trying to run through the jungle. They don't want to get hit. And these guys are trying to run into the ruins as well for cover saves. They're just hiding back there, yeah. And there's some question so. whether or not we're actually on the board. <laughs> we didn't discuss the end of the world. So uh, if we were playing on a section stable, this would be the end right here. Um, if we chose to play on an eight inch to eight foot table, it'd be over here. So we're going to play on an eight foot table and let him go hide over there. Uh, top of two, this riptide shot into here and did very little. I heard if not nothing, this riptide, uh, shot in there, same squad, didn't do anything. 
there's a big guy that did Ravana. The Ravana shot across, ignored cover, 18 wounds, well, just one guy died. 18 hits. 18 hits. No, it was a... Yeah, 20. No, it's 20 hits, 18 wounds, saved all but one of them. Um, no, this Riptide was the one that shot. This Riptide didn't shoot in there. He shot through the building and blew up one of these guys after these guys shot 30 shots into the rear and did nothing. Hit once and you covered it. Did it do it? No, it didn't wound. Oh, you jinked it. That's right. It did one wound and jinked. But uh, that Riptide was able to blow it up. Um, that's right. That's right. The crew over in the corner, the guys that aren't on the battlefield, that are fighting their own skirmish over there, are kicking back. There's two of them left and 15 crew and a hound. So we are moving to bottom of two. How's the bottom of two going? So all those crew got flamed. And then chased off. They're gone. Did you happy dance those guys? Oh no, you didn't charge. I end up running away before you completed. Okay. These crew also died from these guys, but they took some guys with them. That's good. They did their job. Uh, I did a lot of wounds to the second riptide. This riptide's down to one, and this one's down to two. The warlock council thought that they made the charge, but then. Realized yep. it was difficult terrain and did not make it. Yep, we went nine inches and then we uh, we determined that that was difficult, so he rolled the third dice and didn't quite uh, didn't quite work it. But the farseer did get into hand. -to -hand. That's right. The other guy. And they slapped each other a little bit. The wave serpent fired a wave at the fire warriors who were horrified from before from the psyker a minus three leadership and they were pinned well they got pinned but they didn't take enough to run right but, yeah. I, but yeah. I, the reason i shot the wave serpent was to pin them. yeah not a bad move not a bad move uh these guys are in deep cover. This mysterious terrain is actually plus one cover, so those guys are rocking two plus covers. Two plus covers. Uh, Not too bad. Jet bikes. Warp players have four plus in volume. Things are going good. Things are going good, I think, right to his plan. Hopefully, I have a good round this next round. Look at the, the face of frustration right there. <laughs> uh, bottom of three. Ravana overcharged to shoot four templates at this squad and eliminated all but one. Um, these guys fired into the... Uh, oh, fired into... What are those little guys? The warp spiders... Locked in combat, fired at the warp spiders, fired at the warp spiders. Um, we're able to finish them off. Um, these guys came in. They went 10 inches this way and thrust moved away. Um, they shot at the uh, guy and didn't do anything. And one glance. Uh, pretty much didn't do anything. Other than that, uh, not too bad around four Tau. We will see if John can pull it out. Okay, just shake your head. Actually, it wasn't too bad for you. Uh, we're at the bottom of three. Move these guys out. Assaulted here, killed one. Move the Ozark. What's the name of that guy? He's a Phoenix Lord. Phoenix Lord in. They just whiffed each other. Uh, the Riptide has two wounds, and you did nine. Was it strength nine, AP two, six attacks or something like that? And I actually saved them all. Uh, this Riptide was able to finally kill Farseer. The last uh, jet bike tried to charge these guys. and the, oh. his destructor was denied. Correct. After his destructor denied, they overwatched and killed him. Um, and other than that, those guys got out and are now trying to hold that objective. And... Uh, we yeah, exactly. these guys are running this way to try to uh, hold part of the game. We'll see where we're at. Uh, going on to four. Okay, we're getting down to it. Um, I went up here, shot, did nothing. He. Two dire Avengers. I did kill two dire Avengers with the Riptide, 
and the Riptide did the two dyers. He shot at that and then thrust moved away. Um, he was able to block it. Um, these guys ran back, hold that objective. These guys moved up to hold that objective. Finished off those guys. Um, yes. The little circle of death guys finished the last two. Ravana was not able to fire. And these guys whiffed five attacks, all ones and twos against me. Otherwise, he would have died. Um, and he thinned me out quite a bit. I did one wound. He did three wounds. But uh, he's stuck. So we are moving on to the bottom of four. Hope you, boss. Okay. Bottom of four. Uh, Wave Serpent finished off the Riptide. Uh, these guys shot into here. Weren't able to kill him. And then we go to another whiff fight. They're slapping each other. So these guys finished off the last of my Melta. They're going to probably jump in there and try to help out. And uh, that's about it. Let's see where we're going to go next. Uh, bottom, top of five. Top of five. Slap fight again. Fired into the remaining squad there. Fired into the remaining squad there. These guys fired into the remaining, were able to finish them off. Um, he fired at those two, nothing. And um, right now we are at the top of five. I'm holding one objective. I'm holding that one right now. And this one. And we will see what John can do. Let's roll and see if it continues. But I'm winning, so I'm going to say we'll quit at five. Store's getting ready to close. These guys continued to slap each other and nothing happened. Um, these guys fired, were not able to kill them. Those guys moved up, but weren't able to get enough of a move to get into objective. Uh, Wave Serpent and guys shot into here, did two wounds, they stuck. So, oh, would it, huh? It would have ended the in game one. game would have continued. That would have ended at one, on a one or two, you end. I can't wait for seven. You can't wait for 7th edition? So this is probably me, my last battle report before. So, um, things, dice gods. And pretty much, uh, I'm holding one objective, two objectives, three objectives. We will say he's contesting this one. I got uh, First Blood and Slay the Warlord. No, Warlord's still alive. Your Warlord's still Oh, that was your Warlord? Okay, so my warlord's alive too. But I got first blood yeah. because I blew up that thing. So three objectives, six points plus one, seven, two, zero, zero. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good one. Well, it looks like I was able to actually uh, win this one, and uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, just a little bit of a note uh, after the game. Uh, uh, John texted me a couple things. He forgot a couple of the rules some of his special characters had, and uh, that would have actually dramatically changed, like the uh, Cassandra that was tied in with the Riptide actually had Monster Hunter and should have been able to reroll some of the things that he was kind of missing. And then the Scorpion Exart um, was Strength 8, and we thought it was Strength 7, so it would have insta-killed. Um, my Melta squads and been able to, to kind of move in. Uh, <clears throat> I was telling him uh, earlier in the game, he, uh, I would have probably tried to dual charge like a Fire Warrior squad with my Riptide um, so that you could win through battle resolution. And uh, so, you know, throw one guy into the, the Riptide and then the other five into uh, a squad of Fire Warriors. That way you could have... Uh, uh, made me test leadership and caught me because I, I got a pretty low initiative. So, um, but it was a win for me and I'm glad John's always a great competitor. I enjoy playing him. Um, he's got beautifully painted models. I should have zoomed in on a couple of them. Does a great job. Uh, thanks for watching. There we go. Ending credits by Riley.